So welcome to the LinkedIn Turbochargers for this is March the 7th, isn't it already? My gosh. So, so say that again, what you were telling me about your posting. When I, when I picked the names out of the group, then I, I said it I, more or less what you said and, and changed the wording a couple of times. Mm -hmm. and, but I put in a, also, um, please click on the plus sign to connect with me, right? And they just came, came to me, people connected, but not through the plus sign. Okay, it's not, it's not a plus sign that they hit. It, they hit, they should hit the blue little man, the blue icon, that's what they need to click on. Okay, I'll have to have a look. Some of them, now though, that could be different on different platforms, but what I see is the little blue man. And if they don't click the little blue man, but they respond to my message to invite them to connect, and the little blue man still shows up when they when I check out the message because you get the blue dot, right? The little blue dot on the corner. And so well, I'm putting all my blue dots. I'll have, have to look at it again when I, I'll open a message and check, double check that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my screen. Share screen. We're going to go into LinkedIn. So this little drop up pop up menu here on the side. I'm just moving our pictures out of the way. So I so I I can see what I'm doing. You guys can't see the pictures, but I can. So see these little blue dots here? Yes. Right? So that's a sign that they have responded to you in some way, right? And I just finished today going through and emptying everything out. These people I've already, they've, they've, I've connected to them and we've been in conversation uh, in one way or another. So I go through and check all these little blue dots so that I make sure that I've responded to them. If there's a little blue dot that, that opens up and all I see is something like message accept, let's see, where do they, I probably because I've responded to these, um, I won't see where they say message accepted. Uh -huh. So you look for the ones where they say message accepted. Uh, that's what I do. Okay, great. And then, then that's when you tell them, thanks for accepting my message. Feel free to click the blue connect icon. Okay. Some, people, some people see a check mark and some people don't, but most people see the blue connect icon. Oh, okay. So some may not see it then. Yeah. It's different on different platforms. So especially I noticed there's a lot of difference between a Mac and a PC. Okay. And if they're using their phone, their, their smartphone, that's different as well. So no, I, I was on the computer. Okay. I was just going to see if I could see yeah. the screen. But, but, okay. but your people you're reaching out to might just be using their phones, right? Oh, I see. Some so it doesn't show the same. And they just right. have everything on their smartphone. And so some smartphones, you can just see the blue icon. Other ones, you can only see a check mark. Gotcha. So I just say the blue connect icon because it, it, it applies to most of them. And then if they can't find the blue connect icon, they come back to me with... I can't find a, a, the connect icon, then I'll tell them, oh, it might show up as a check mark on yours or a, a, an a X. Okay. I thought, I thought that uh, usually that check mark, they've already um, clicked on the blue dot. That's right. On That's blue right. Connect, right. Yeah. And then I usually just click on the check mark to uh, accept it back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you ever have questions like this in the future, make sure that you save it on a, on a window on your computer so that you can sh share your screen and show me what okay. you're seeing. Right. It would be much easier for me to explain to you what to do. And okay. it's easier for you to understand because I don't know about you, but I'm really visual. I have to see it. 
somebody can talk to me oh yeah you have to go here and then you click over here and you um, hit click this icon and you go i'm totally lost in about two seconds <laughs> all righty will do yeah so and other people probably have the same challenges right right so i'm just going by my own experience people who are visual and learn better from visual than I am. I, I do. <laughs> I think it's easier. Yeah. So, I, mean, I just wanted to ask you. So when you connect with them, do you want do you always set up um, a time to do a zoom with them before you let them know what you're up to in that? No, I don't usually let them. I usually uh, I like to vet them because I was getting as many as Ooh, I had as many as I think 12 a week appointments. Wow. That's a lot of appointments. <laughs> and so I thought, okay, I want to get some more serious people. So I get permission to share a video with them. And then I, once I share the video, I then follow up and say, tell me what you liked best about what you saw. And if they say, oh, a lot of stuff or everything, then I say, well, we need to hop on a call and then I can answer any questions you have. And then I give them my link. Right. But before I was, it, no, I never was. What was I doing? I was doing the same kind of a thing, but I had, I think I made sure I missed that one step of what did you like best about the video? So I was sending out the video link after they gave me the thumbs up, right? I'd send out the video link and then I would just send them, I'd wait a couple of days and then I would send them, uh, ask them what they like best about it. Okay, and that brings me to the other question, the video. The video, how do you send a video? How do you attach it or embed it or whatever? What? How do you attach a video? Yeah, well, the way you had it, you, um, there were to type in a word or something, and then um, they could open the video. No, I just, I just put the link for them to open. So here, let me share. I've shared my screen. You can see my LinkedIn, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, let's say I'm sending a message to Ginger here. She's already in a first level connection because I just finished sending her um, an endorsement. Uh, I gave her an endorsement and requested that she fill out a, a survey that I'm using. And um, so let's make sure we're on the same page here. So when you're sending, when you're communicating with people, what is it you're, is happening? Like when you create the message in your group mm -hmm. and you're going to say, um, you know, thumbs up or, or, or something if you want a video or do you want to watch the video? Because you're, you're, not, you're not sending that request to connect to the whole group. You're just sending it to one person at a time in that group. Oh, no, right? I know. Yeah, I realize that. Yeah. Okay. So this is one person. So okay, let's. Okay. So how do we connect the video to them? Okay. So I have my Word document that has all, all my videos and stuff in here that I'm sharing. It's all, see all these live links? Yeah. So if I'm gonna send them uh, information on my uh, Evergreen event, uh, here's my LinkedIn Turbochargers Mastermind landing page. I'll copy that. Go back over to LinkedIn, paste it in and say, hey, here's the video that you were excited to see. Okay. And that's how the video looks. Oh, you put it down there. Yeah, just right down where you send the message, where you type. Where you it. usually do messages. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to send it because I just finished sending her a, me a message already today. No, that's fine. Because I've already got them saved. Yeah. And I, well, I'm on YouTube, right? Mm hmm and I've got three on YouTube saved. And um, yeah, I want to send them to, 
to them. I, I tried one and sent one to Debbie this morning just to make sure it went into her, her WhatsApp, yeah. and it did. So I just wanted to know where to put it. Okay, so you just put it there like you would any other thing. And yeah. yeah. Uh, once you've got their permission, if they give me a thumbs up, then I say, awesome, you're going to love this. And I plug the link in. Yeah. And then I wait a couple of days and I'm then I get back to them and say, how did you what did you like best about what you just saw? So here's a brainwave I have for you, Pat. When you're doing when you're have you set up a YouTube channel for yourself yet? Not for myself. Should yeah. I? <laughs> yeah. Set up a YouTube channel for yourself. It's free. OK. And uh, you want to you want to do some SEO search. You want to search for keywords that are going to be best to use on your site. So just use keywords everywhere. K E Y W O R D S everywhere. E V E R Y W H E R E. And it's a free platform and it will you, it will connect to your computer. And so then whenever you're doing searches it will show you keywords that are the best words to use, or you can even do searches. You can type in keywords in the search bar at the top. And yes, you can, yeah. It will, do, it will do SEO, search engine optimization. It will show you which keywords are the best to use. Oh, right, right. For the videos, I was specifically looking for WSB ones, they post. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I've got them saved in my, um, my file. Uh -huh. Okay. My listing, yeah. Now, now on YouTube, you are not allowed to copy somebody else's video and save it on your channel. You can't do that. You need to make your no. own videos, right? But when somebody else has a video that they've made and they've got it on YouTube, you can copy that link and put it into your document, your Word document, to copy and paste to share with people like what I just showed you. Yep. You can yeah. share that. You can share the link. But you just can't put save it in your own channel. That's illegal. <laughs> right? No, no, no. I wouldn't. I, and I was on WSB YouTube. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. here's what I would do if I was doing financial advising. I would be. I would be speaking to the kids. I have a girlfriend who is a financial advisor, and she lives out in the Vancouver area. And she has published a little book, just a little, a little thin little book. And it's about kids and how to manage money. All kinds of ideas for managing money. And I'd be making little videos to the kids and talking to them about money. That's cool. Yeah. You're not selling anything. You're mm -hmm. not promoting any products that you've got. You're just talking to them, to them heart to heart about money. Yeah. And that's what yeah. I would do on my videos. So you can go ahead and think about some little scripts and just make them short, no more than three to five minutes. Oh, I know. It was hard to find any WSB that were short. Yeah. It, <laughs> all you want to do is create interest. And, and the thing is, you have to do one every week, at least do one I video every week. So yeah, I was going to say how often, you know, yeah. one, one a week. Well, yeah, but, but don't do like I did. What was that? I did, I did about 10 in one week <laughs> and then I didn't do any. <laughs> oh. But um, you need to be consistent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, get, I get really busy and some, so I was uh, a little bit behind the eight ball. But I've got different, I've got one channel on LinkedIn that has three sub channels under that one channel. So one of my sub channels is LinkedIn turbochargers, and another one is multiple streams of income, and another one is um, my oh, uh, right. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Jeannie, did you have any other questions? Yeah, Jeannie, don't run away. Just I'll give you the time. You can have time. You have the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. I was just, I'm kind of tired right now. So, I, I just, yeah, just mean. That's okay. That's good. Well, we're recording it. 
Um, okay, so if you don't have any questions, either of you, I'm going to go into something fun. All righty. So I'm going to stop my share with this window. Yep. And I'm going to share a new window, but first I'm going to open up what I want to show you. You know, when you use multiple browsers all the time, you know what happens. Um, the browsers want you to confirm everything. So I've got okay. to confirm crosswalks here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, there's another one. Okay, there's another one. Oh, okay, well, you guys, you just, I think there's one there. You can't really tell. Some of them are so small and far away, you can't see it, right? No crosswalks. Verify. <laughs> oh, no. It wants more crosswalks. OK. I'm going to work crosswalk. <laughs> wow. I got a sweater. <laughs> Man. OK, so now let's see if it'll. I just got to get my password in there. I'm actually quite glad that things are protected as well as they are. Mm, yeah. Because, you know, I use, I, I get frustrated sometimes because I'm in a hurry and I want to get this done. And I, I'm going, okay, come on. I need to do this right now. <laughs> oh, I'm like that. Oh, yeah. Aren't I bad? That's why I was a minute late coming to you because I was already fighting with a hotel reservation. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't do what I wanted it to do, about, you know. And then I look at the time. Oh, forget it. Hope to do it later. <laughs> okay, see, so wants crosswalks again. Oh, you crazy person! Whoever your whoever this is, giving me all this stuff for crosswalks. What is it? What is crosswalk? Crosswalk. Yeah. You know, when you what go across the street. I'm sorry. You know the crosswalks when you go across the street. Yeah. Oh, I see. I any more crosswalks? So I think it's a password you entered. Is oh, it? yeah. What? It tells me the password I entered is incorrect. See, Jackie said she was going to be on, and she had it on her calendar, but I don't know what. Mm. It's all right. <laughs> she's not been she's been sleeping a lot lately, so well her body's healing. You know, my husband was in this really bad car accident uh quite a few years ago now. It was uh November of 17. Oh now it wants me to show vehicles. Mm. So um uh, he's really had a hard time. Uh, he just gets so, his body is still healing. Oh, yeah, Jackie. This last session seems to have whacked her, whacked her out. Mm -hmm. She's not waking up till, she said she didn't wake up till after 9.30 this morning. So our morning meeting was oh. long done. <laughs> Gee. And a meeting with a guest the other night. I had to, or yeah, I had to find her. <laughs> I can't wake her up. <laughs> That's Saturday morning. That's, I have a recruit from Louisiana now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I to go find the special code from my email now. Man, oh man, oh man. Oops. 
keeps making you do all those pictures, eh? Which one of these is not the same? <laughs> That's a spray street. <laughs> there it comes. Canva code. Okay. Okay. Oh, now it wants bicycles. Man, bicycles. Okay. Oh, there's one. Okay, no more bicycles seen. Bridges, bicycles, crosswalks. <laughs> okay, now I'm in Canva. All right, finally, we got there. Really? That was all to get into Canva? Oh, wow. It's, it's not usually what happens. It's just... I, we use it every Friday night and I just get right on it. Yeah. It's because I have multiple browsers that I use all the time. And if I have two browsers open the, at the same time, it becomes a challenge to get onto the other browser. So now I've got to go back into. I know. That's why I have to close Edge so I can stay mm -hmm. on Google. And it bugs me when one takes over. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now we're going into Canva. Ta-da, we're here. So I want you to note that I am on a paid platform and it costs me about $25 US a month to be on the paid platform. So it's not really expensive. And, but there is a free. And when you, and I used the free for a while before I, until I got used to it, right? Before I started paying for it. And when you're doing videos on YouTube, you want to use the thumbnail, this little one right here. Mm -hmm. Click on thumbnail. You get a whole bunch of choices. Whole bunch of choices that you can pick from. And you can get into any of these thumbnails and you can edit them to the way you want them. So for you can cho choose whichever one you want. So let's say we're gonna choose this guy. We'll drag him over. And we'll keep that picture. And what should we change the wording to? Got any ideas? Let's say, okay, let's say I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do one for me. So you want to hit this twice so that it highlights, and then you can just type. Um, <laughs> no, we don't want the here. five keys. Uh, five keys to. LinkedIn secrets. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to change this. Five secrets. And then if it goes, if it goes down, then you just pull this out a little bit till it goes into one line. Five secrets to LinkedIn uh, groups. Okay. So now we can shrink this down just a bit. Bring it in. And then we'll get we'll get on the, the white part. And we'll bring that down just a bit. So it looks better. Okay. Yeah. So now we've got five secrets to LinkedIn groups. And we just picked a random one. And we'll keep this picture because people like pictures that are exciting looking, right? They have energy. This picture has energy in it, right? And so we want to animate this picture because things that move really grab people's attention and they catches their eye. 
So we're in animate. Sorry. Whoops, whoops. Okay, there. So see all these ones here without the crowns on them. The crowns are paid ones. You have to have a paid, but you can do that. You can do animations that are not paid. Oh, I have, I can hit the out here and then we'll do this again. Okay, animate. Okay. Okay, there we go. So there's yep. pan, rise, breathe. These are ones that are not paid. I use the tumble one quite often because I like it. It really, I think it's a really good eye catcher. So you can go down here and you can see all the ones you can use on the free. There's a lot of choices, right? Yeah. So let's see, I like this rise. I'm gonna click rise. And then notice how much time is between each, each movement. Go, oh, I am going to choose, change that from five seconds. Just, I'll just move it down a touch so that it's at four seconds. And then I'll put it out, put, you always click, you go outside the, outside the whole presentation and click to make sure that it's set. So I'm gonna make sure it's still on rise. Actually, I'm gonna do tumble. I really like tumble because <laughs> it's got a lot of movement, right? Where is tumble? Right down here. It's okay. A, yeah, I just couldn't read it very well. That's all. Okay. Okay. And then you click download up here. When you click download, you have to, it's got it set as a video and you don't want it to be set as a video. You want it to be a GIF. Okay. So you choose GIF, save download settings and click download. Now you can use this as a GIF and just copy it and paste it right into a LinkedIn or a Facebook post. But here's what I do. I wait for it to download. And once it's downloaded, then it says download complete. Then it gets ready to save automatically on my computer. So I want to go into my Dropbox because I save everything to Dropbox because then I can access all my material, all my pictures and everything from any computer or from my- I know that, but don't you have to pay for that? No, it's free. Well, it's free up to about 15,000 gigs. So you get it free for quite a while. Oh, okay. At least that's what it was when I started. I had- I was afraid to keep it on because I thought I'd be charged any day now or something. No. So I, and it's only like, Dropbox is only ten dollars a month. It's not huge. So I'm going to go down here to my pictures because I'm in Dropbox now. Go down to my pictures. Yeah, and I save everything in Drive, but I'd rather use Dropbox. So this is for my LinkedIn stuff. So I'm going to go down to Marketing Mentors. I have files all set up. Oh, cool. Going to Marketing Mentors. Now this is in LinkedIn, so I'm gonna go down to my LinkedIn file. One of my LinkedIn files. Cool. Before M, LinkedIn. So I've got LinkedIn pics here. And we're gonna do five keys to LinkedIn groups. Okay, our five secrets. We're not gonna put keys, we're gonna put five secrets. And we're gonna yeah. We're gonna start. It's gonna blow down. Pardon me? Your apartment block's gonna blow down. The <laughs> wind is just <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we've got this all saved. It's all ready to go. So then you go into uh um a message that you're going to post, like I will use it maybe on my uh, email platform. So this is Keep, my back office of Keep, K-E-A-P. This is my email platform. And I'll click on marketing. I'll go into email broadcasts. 
I'm going to create an email broadcast. And you can do something similar to this on, on um, MailChimp for free. I'm going to go to my legendary builder and get started. And I'm going to use my templates. And I recommend that when you set, when you design some templates for yourself, you design them so that your picture and stuff goes at the bottom of the email. Because okay. that it you, you don't want people to just see you at the beginning. And that's something I've learned from my mentor. So you click on who's the owner here. I, I go and make sure that the right person shows up. And then who you want to send it to you have a I have a complete list of all for including all my turbochargers and then I have a subject line well people really like tips and steps and so five secrets oops my fingers are in the wrong spot two Oh, this thing, my thing, I got a new mouse and it's really playing havoc with my typing. Okay, here we go. Five secrets to LinkedIn groups. Okay. That will get you more leads. Prospects, customers, and clients. And then I put, I insert the their name at the end of this, first name. And I'm going to put an exclamation mark here because I've got to have energy in my email. So five secrets to LinkedIn groups that will get you more leads, prospects, customers, and clients. And that's what everybody's looking for, right? So whatever it is, whatever business you're in, you want to speak to your customer's heart. Remember, I'm always talking about hitting people in the heart. And so then you want to type the body of your email. I usually tell stories in most of my emails. And I've, I've, I was born and raised on a ranch. So most of my stories are ranching kinds of stories. So I would go get busy and... and type you know the body of my email and then I would go have a bunch of lines I'm going to go finish this email later but it's going to take too long for me to compose it it usually takes me about a half hour to compose an email well you've got some long stories in there yeah <laughs> and and then at the very end I want to attach a link so I want to think okay So here's my LinkedIn turbochargers mastermind. So I'm going to go into that link, copy it, and I'm going to I, and you highlight the, the words you want to attach the link to. You click the link and you paste it in here. And then you click insert link. There, voila, when they click that bunch of hieroglyphics, <laughs> they'll take it'll take them to the sign up page for my LinkedIn turbochargers, right? Oh, okay. so everything everything that you do when you when you are are marketing your business online everything that you do or that we do need we need to keep thinking okay how what's the call to action so the call to action yeah. check this out and so put a link here and it can be a link to a video could be a link to one of your youtube videos that you've made it can be a link to a video that somebody else has made from WSG or B. Is it WSG or WSB? Um, well, we're on the education side. That's all. WSB is the education. Okay. And and we make more money now than WFG. Cool. Section of it. <laughs> so, well, as far as the whole company goes, we've, we've got a way larger um, yeah, share in it. Mm -hmm. That's and cool. And the, the powers that be that have all the money, they're going to, which is over in Holland or something, Aegon, 
um, they're going to infuse so many million dollars back into us. Cool. So you get the idea of what we're doing here. The, the, the biggest kept secret to marketing online, and it, I'm going to stop my share for- And then you go into something you've written or you've filmed. Yeah, and you copy the link and paste it in there. And I always have my calendar link handy. So if, if people want to ask me questions, like they're going to want to know a little bit more about my LinkedIn turbochargers. So I put my, uh, I'll, I'll end up the email down at the bottom here. Or you can't see it now. I'm not sharing it. But at the bottom, I will put in there. Uh, you're going to, you probably have questions you want to be answered. So feel free to book a time to chat or hop on a call. Mm -hmm. So I'll attach my calendar link to that hop on a call. Those well, just those words. Sometimes the whole line depends on how much of a hurry I'm in. And then I say, cheering your success. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll say, wishing you success. <laughs> so then I end my email and I attach. Oh, I better share my screen one more time here. I got to show you how I attach the picture to this because that's really important. I don't know, Janie. I think we're going to be learning from her for 10 more years. Uh, well, this is going to be, this is from Keep, so uh, it's a little different, right? It's a little different when you go into MailChimp. So what we can do is once you, oh, can, yeah. if you guys go in and set up MailChimp, because I'm a little bit familiar with MailChimp, because that's what I was using before I got on to Keep. And then, and they kicked me off, so I couldn't do it personally, but I was using it for our church to do the weekly newsletter. So you can go higher. So then you go up here, you there's a place on MailChimp to browse as well. So oh. I'm gonna go into my marketing mentors here and go down to my LinkedIn pictures. Yeah, I noticed our church uses MailChimp too. Yeah, a lot of them. Well, because it's free. <laughs> and it's it's about the nicest one of all the free ones that I've seen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm in Dropbox. I've got to go down to uh, Marketing Mentor. Or but I've already got my inventory of names on Campaign Manager. Mm -hmm. So how do I hook that up to MailChimp? Oh, you just have to download, you have to download your, your contacts into a CSV file. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's like okay. a spreadsheet and then you uh, upload them onto MailChimp. And there That's is, what I was wondering. there's a place on MailChimp that tells you how to upload. And the way I learned how to use MailChimp is I just went on YouTube and I, go I would Google search on MailTube how to upload con my contacts to my MailChimp platform. Isn't that wonderful to be yeah. able to do that? <laughs> I look up my copy maker and how to do this, and how to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice to have. Okay, here's my pictures. Okay, now I'm gonna go to Marketing Mentors. I'm going to go to LinkedIn. LinkedIn picks. And five secrets to LinkedIn groups. Voila. And then over here, you can adjust the size of the picture. And I can go ahead and finish writing my email. Yep. And then you've got, and when that email comes out and people see, they're drawn to, they're drawn to it. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's cool. And I, and you do it, you can do it all the time on your Facebook posts and your LinkedIn posts. Unfortunately, GIFs do not upload onto Sprout Social or Buffer or any of those auto posting platforms. 
you have to turn it into a stationary picture and save it as a stationary picture. I don't use any of those anyway. So the way to post, if you're going to post online, is through the groups. So I'm going to go, I'm going to stop my share here. I'm going to go over into LinkedIn. Can you post on groups? Like you can post different things on a group, but you can't post your your product and that, right? Well, it depends on what groups you're in, right? If you're in a group that has free advertising now on Facebook, I am I'm in a whole bunch of groups. And I always look for the ones that are home-based businesses or network marketing businesses or free advertising platforms. They'll say it'll say on the title of it, free advertise your business for free. Hmm. Those are great ones to be in on Facebook. And so you can post in there. But when you go in there to do one of your posts, you have to make sure you go in and like and maybe comment on a few of somebody else's posts. Because if they see you going in there and just post, 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 post all the time, that's how you get your profile frozen. Mm -hmm. One of the ways. But it's, it's, it's the main way. So here... On uh, on LinkedIn, you want to go for it, look for your photo. So you've got a GIF. So Dropbox, we're going to go to Dropbox and then my... Oh, we're not seeing that. I'm not seeing oh, that. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to share screen. <laughs> uh -huh. It's okay. It's the end of the day. <laughs> well, not for me, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's a busy day for me too. I'm busy until about 10 o'clock tonight. Yeah, we are too. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I have on Dropbox, my pictures, and I'm going to go to Marky Mentress. I'm going to find that GIF that I just did, right? Oh, where's Marketing Mentress here? There we go. And then we're going to go for LinkedIn. There's the GIF. There we go. Click done. See, it's up there now. Now you can decide what you want to write for your message. Right. I have posted um in front of a, a group okay and then then you do hashtags hashtag now these i've got it i've got the algorithm trained to to automatically show me these different hashtags yeah it shows yeah. mine too that i created but for them is that what you think kept kept secrets are to LinkedIn? Have you wondered what the biggest kept secrets are to LinkedIn? And then you put those hashtags. It's just oh, for search LinkedIn. engine. Just oh. for search engines. It's not for anybody to necessarily be reading other than the search engines. Mm -hmm. So there's two kinds of search engines. There's the hashtag search engines and that you train. And there's the other SEO, regular kinds of LinkedIn search engine. LinkedIn is the next second most powerful search engine to Google on the, on the net. And Google is considered to be the most powerful one. So now I can go ahead and post this, but there's no call to action. Right? Right. So they need to have a call to action here. Mm-hmm. So where do you put that? And now I'm going to go on to my document and I'm going to copy this. Uh, let's see which one I'm going to do. I'm going to do my landing page. Okay. 
There we go. And then I can post it. Click post. And there we go. So that, that will get quite a bit of readership. And I'm just going to show you something here too, while I'm on here. Um, I always schedule a bunch of posts so, so that there's one post a day at least going out for the whole month. So I've got all my posts scheduled for the month. And then throughout the month, once, once a week, my goal is to write and publish an article, one article a week. But when I publish that article, I repurpose that article so that it goes out multiple times, not a month, not I only they only go out once a month, but they go out once in March, once in April. I'm pointing to, to calendars all around my desk here. <laughs> So it goes once in March, once in April, once in May, once in June, once July, and once August. So I go 16 months, not six, six months out. Okay. So they're all scheduled to go out. And so, because people that I'm not connected to and that, that will connect to me maybe in April or May or June or July or August are not connected to me today. So they will never see my article if I only post it once, right? But if I post it one time a month, then, and I choose a different day each month, it automatically becomes a different day. So the 7th of March is a Monday. The 7th of April is a Thursday. The 7th of May is a Saturday. The 7th of, of uh, June is a, is a Tuesday. The 7th of July is a Thursday. So you and the 7th of August is a Sunday. So you get different days of the week. So you automatically reach different audiences because you're, it's, it takes you to different days of the week. Plus on each of those days, each of those extra posts, you can choose a different time of day. So people that check their emails at or their social media messages at eight o'clock in the morning will catch it the month that it's run at eight o'clock in the morning. Those that don't check until four o'clock in the afternoon will catch it the month that I've got it posted at four o'clock in the afternoon. And that's how you repurpose your work. So you don't have to be writing, writing, writing all the time. No, but do you post it by looking at your calendar or do you have an automatic posting system? Yes. Didn't I, didn't I show you Sprout Social? I thought I showed you Sprout Social. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this one and go over to my other my other search engine. And I'm going to open up Sprout Social. What's it called? Well, I use Sprout Social, but there's a free one called Buffer, B-U-F-F-E-R. And, and for Sprout Social, Sprout Social costs me about $100 a month. And I, it, it, allows, it allows me to attach up to 10 of my social media platforms to it. So there is also, so I'm going to share my screen here. We're just about out of time here. I'll try and do this quickly. So I'm going to go to that one. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that list. Okay, no. so you can either join Sprout Social or Bamboo. Bamboo is a little less expensive than Sprout Social as far as paid platforms go. Sprout Social allows you to try it for free for 30 days. And then after that, you can decide whether you want to keep it or not. And I did some research because I'm really busy. I manage multiple streams of income. And I have LinkedIn clients and I have these groups, these turbocharger groups, and they have, they take up a lot of time and I'm busy and I'm composing all my own material. And I thought, okay, I need to hire a VA. So I checked out hiring a VA just to do posting for me, the amount of posting like I usually do in Canada was going to cost me $1,200 a month. Duh. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> 
So then I thought, okay, I'll check the Philippines and maybe India. And I got it. I got the cheapest one I got was $312 a month just to do posting. But the problem is with, with the India and the Philippines is their grammar. When they pay <laughs> for you, they, they don't speak right <laughs> in their writing. And, and I don't have time to go check all their work all the time. So that won't work. Plus the fact it's $312 a month. And I, and I was looking at Sprout Social at the time when I was trying to decide whether to go into a paid platform or, or, uh, and, or leave it all together because my 30 days was up. And I thought, well, gee, $100 a month is a lot better than $312 plus having bad grammar. So I think I'll go with this. So I decided to go with, the, with Sprout Social. Now the pricing may have changed slightly since I started. Um, I think for hundred dollars you can get now, you get five platforms that you can attach, which is your LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, your five key platforms, right? Mm -hmm. And, but with, with me, mine, I've got 10 platforms. And so I've attached, I've got nine actually connected. And so I've connected a few of my Facebook pages. So I've got my LinkedIn page, LinkedIn profile page, my LinkedIn company page, my Facebook profile page, and several three or four uh, Facebook business pages. And then my Instagram, and my Twitter, and my Pinterest, and that adds up to nine platforms. Oh. That saves me a lot of work, right? It, I just, oh, of course, yeah. All of those. I think um, campaign manager lets you time them too. So I'm going to read up on that. Yeah, um, check it out. because it's one the company pays for, right? <laughs> ah, yeah, you can use that too. I'm, I like, I'm not prejudiced about what kind of platform you use. No. I'm just going to show you this so that you get an idea. So I've got all of these pictures saved in different files back in my pictures file on Dropbox, right? So yeah, I I'm gonna set that up. Wherever they are and I can upload. So I'm gonna upload a picture. So let's go into my pictures and um, let's see, let's do, I've already done March of 2022. So let's find, ah, May of 2011, what's there? No, nope, nothing's there. Okay, let's go back here. I've got a whole bunch. Um, well, I'm going to go back into my pictures and see if I can find some months in here. So I was going to tell you, off of LinkedIn, mm -hmm. I got a recruit. He's actually signed up. Cool. From Louisiana. Awesome. And he's uh, he's from uh, Homeland Security. Wow. He's a secret agent. That is so cool. Well, here we are, April of 2017. That's long enough away. People probably won't remember reading these posts. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I see what you're doing. Okay. You're gotcha. repurposing your posts, right? You wait. So next year, I can go into 2018, right? We do that in Campaign Manager, too. Mm-hmm. Called a library. Mm-hmm. And when we create, like, an invitation for something or whatever, we can mm -hmm. save it in our library. Wow. And haul it back out like you're doing. So you can have all different kinds of quotes. Let's see what this one says here. So it brings it up so you can see what you're, what, and so you can yeah. get all different sizes. So I can make, find the one that's the biggest. You can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some of our group come up with. Anyway, to answer your question about WF, WFG is the broker company. 
they they cut the paychecks and all that, you know, and do all the advertising. And everything. Okay, so then because I've gotten it, and I can check to see which platforms are turned on to make sure all my platforms are connected. Yeah, all my platforms are connected that I want to have connected. Great. So I'll put that back. Whoops, I saw an X here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna, platforms. Yeah. Oops, I don't want this. That didn't work right. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to type it again. So you go in here and you go to the, this is, it's good. What I just copied, I'm going to use that for the title of my next, that's that, this is going out on Pinterest. So I'm going to choose the board I want it to go on. And that's my Pinterest URL. Wow, you know, all the sites. Yeah, and then you go. I'm going to, I'm the publisher, so I'm going to click me. And now I get to choose the date and time. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Look at this. I don't have anything public read scheduled for the ninth. So I'm going to choose the ninth. And I, of course, I have nothing scheduled yet. So I'm going to do eight o'clock in the morning. So it's going to be eight on the button. And it's going to be a.m. I'm showing you this because it's so easy to do and I can add more scheduled times. Oh, wow. So let's do April. We did April and uh, March the 9th. Let's do April the 9th. It's a set. That saves so much work. And let's choose oh, two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, let's, oh, we can choose another month. Let's go to May, May the 9th. Oh, that's a Monday. Okay, let's choose seven o'clock in the evening, 7 p.m. Okay, and let's choose another one. So we can go six months out um, and you can schedule these posts once a month. That's fabulous. I don't do it so much with these individual quotes. I'm just doing this to show you that you can do it. Yeah, so and easy. Multiple posts with my... Um, articles that I publish. So I can schedule this to go out. So I'm going to go ahead and just schedule what I've got there. Yep. But the key times to post are 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. 8 a.m. on their way to work, they check their messages on social media. 10 a.m. Oh. coffee break, 2 p.m. coffee break, 4 p.m. getting off work and 7 p.m. is right after dinner in the evening. Isn't that cool to be able to have that to you? And so you yeah, can you don't have to then you don't have to do it all the time. Every no, month. I don't have to think That's about right. it. Right? Got something going out every day, right? Mm -hmm. And I teach everybody to do this, and you can choose whatever subject you want. Like I did a mixture this month. I, I've been, for the last several months, I've been, been doing different topics with Snoopy posts. People that- Yeah, I, yeah, I know, I love Some that. of the people on there are saying, how are you today, Snoopy? They say to me, because <laughs> I've been posting so much Snoopy stuff. But, you know, I'm having fun with it. And I've had as many as like, um, well, one of my surveys I did, I had 2,028 people, uh, read my survey for when I did the who, which, which um, Harry Potter house do you belong in? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a bit much. But anyway, then uh, most of them I get like around 300, 250, 300 people liking my, my posts. And so with when you keep posting like that all the time, maybe you don't have, sometimes I'll attach a link or I'll ask a question, depending on what I'm posting. So if I post something from one of my network marketing businesses, if I post a picture from that, then I'll ask them something and, and attach a link to that. And But I don't do that very often. And that will go out. But the key thing is you've got to get their interest and get them following you and liking what you've got posted. And the more they see you, the 
more they're going to do chances are they're going to do business with you and i'm going to tell you a little story here i know we're over time you got quick a quick two minute story mm -hmm. i had a gal ask me if she could book a time to talk to me uh she and i met 10 years ago on linkedin she invited me to be a guest on her podcast show and she reached out to me and and uh she said, do you know why I reached out to you after all these years? She says, because you have kept in touch with me and I see your posts all the time. And she'd never talked to me that whole 10 years. And then she said, but when I, when I, she said, she just got finished getting over being really sick. She didn't tell me what kind of sickness she had. And she said, I'm ready to, and raring to get going again. And I need a coach. After 10 years, and that's just from posting all the time on LinkedIn. And wow. so client. And then she recommended me to two other people. So I've got three wow. clients that I got last week for LinkedIn, just as a result of isn't that awesome? Every day. Yeah. And I'm not yeah, saying that you never know. It it works. It really works. Mm -hmm. We just have to be patient. Very patient. Consistent yeah. and patient, right? Mm. Persistent yeah. for sure. Yeah. So I'm going to turn off our, our recording here.